Yeah, just gonna go over my new uh, VGT controllers. Um, got a working program. Everything works, but I don't really care about the, the VNT configuration or the P7100 configuration because I'm not really playing with that yet. Right now, my focus is just the whole set of VGTs. Um, this is pretty simple. You'll have a drop down for your sensor value. It's so basically 15, 30, whatever, whatever sensor you have. This is your exhaust brake force. So how much brake do you want? Um, this is really the percentage of the turbo. So you want 75% open, which will have absolutely zero brake. Um, you really won't feel any brake until you get about 95%, but you'll be able to increase or decrease the brake a little bit. Um, your exhaust brake disengage. And this is what RPM do you want the exhaust brake to turn off? So basically if you're driving around and your exhaust brake's on, if your engine gets below a set RPM, the exhaust brake will turn off. So on a default, on like a 6.7, I want to say it's like 1100 RPM. So you'll be able to simulate that. Um, this is for your uh, RPM pickup. So basically you just tap into your RPM signal, whether it be on a crank or from an alternator. And then you just tell it, tell it how many pulses per revolution you have. And it doesn't have to be accurate. You just got to be a little bit close um, until you get right here. And this here will kind of show you how many RPMs you have. I'm um, still working on this aspect. This is going to have a drop down. I don't really know if this is going to work. Uh, mainly because it doesn't seem that the actuator actually gets as hot as I thought it would. Um, and from there, this is your starting position, zero being the exhaust brake, 100 being wide open. I start at 10%. This is your ending travel, how far do you want to go within available travel. I stop at 50, and then this is your travel rate, how far do you want to go from your starting to your ending position at what set PSI. And I have mine set at 35 pounds, so at 35 pounds, my VGT is open about 50%. Um, the concept behind uh, pulse modulation is you can be able to use any Garrett or Borg Warner turbo that uses pulse modulation. It probably works. Um, the turbos I had to test it on, I actually gave them away, so I don't actually have any more to test on. And this, of course, is going to be the uh, P7100 AFC that I'm working on. So, again, like I said, I haven't really put too much time into this. It probably works, but until I actually test these two out with the turbo, I'm not going to say that they work like I guarantee you that the VNT or well, the VGT aspect of this works for whole sets. Um, when you click on monitor you're going to have your boost pressure so when you select what gauge value you have this will change so if you say 15 pounds you'll have 15 pounds 30 pounds whatever it's going to reflect right there. Um, this is how much load 50 is about average it'll go up and down a little bit but if you're watching the VGT move and it's way up here towards 100 your something's clogged so you probably have a lot of soot built up. Um, this is your engine RPMs. Again, this isn't really meant to be accurate. This is just to give you an idea of where you're idling at and then where do you want the exhaust brake to turn off on. Um, turbo RPM, this is pretty accurate. So if you want to know how fast the turbo spinning based on uh, how much boost you're making, you can go off that for a reference. This is actually the VGT board temperature, not the actual like the metal part of the actual well, the metal part of the turbo, so like the exhaust housing or anything like that. So this just measures how hot the water is going across the board. And I'm not sure if my actuator is going bad. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but I haven't seen mine get hotter than 120 degrees. Now I've taken these and I've put them in a, a bucket of boiling hot water. And I read the value go all the way up to 210. So is it just my actuator or is it possibly um, maybe the board actually doesn't get that high? I, I honestly don't know. Um, the feedback, it just tells you where the turbo is actually at. So it's not where I'm telling it to go. It's actually where it's at in its travel. Um, then you click on diagnostics, pretty simple. When you click on calibrate, it's going to try to calibrate. Um, sometimes if you have a, a flaky actuator like I got on my truck, or if you have a bad actuator, it's going to give you a fault, which will display up in the VGT status. Um, if that happens, you'll be able to click on reset, and then reset tries another approach to actually actuate the turbo, well, calibrate the turbo. Um, if that don't work, then your, turbo's pro your actuator is probably bad and you need to find another one. Um, span test, what it does is it just goes from your start well, 0% open to 100% open, then 100 back to 0. And what you want to watch is your commanded position versus actual position. So if you're saying go to 50% and it says actual position 75 and, it, and the command goes all the way down to 0 and the actual don't move, okay, something's wrong because your turbo's not moving. And the load on the actual motor is probably going to be at like 100%. So this kind of gives you a reference. Eventually, I want to have a graph populate down here so you can just hit span test and walk away come back and you'll be able to see what's actually going on so that's, that's actually going to be pretty neat once i get it going um so yeah so let me go ahead and start the truck like i said you probably won't be able to hear me but it'll give you an idea of uh what all this stuff does
Now once you hit a, so you have a drop down, let me start it over again so you can kind of see. You're going to have a drop down, it's going to tell you what COM port to connect to. You're going to click connect, it'll say connect it up there. This will give you a VGT status, so as you can see, maybe you can't see, but this is operating. It'll say fault or it'll say uh, calibrating, testing, um, VGT not found, so if you turn the controller on without being connected to a turbo, it's going to tell you that the turbo's not connected. So it's going to tell you a little bit of information. And then when you click read, it's going to tell you all the sensor data that you currently have connected. So if you click on here, you're going to tell it you have a 50 pound sensor, 50 pound, whatever you have, you're just going to tell it what it is. Um, you got your exhaust brake force, click up and down so you'll be able to tell it uh, how much brake you want. Um, your exhaust brake disengage, I have mine set at 900 RPMs. So if the engine goes below 900 RPMs, it's going to turn off. Um, you have your pulses per uh, revolution. I have mine set at 35. And right now my engine's saying I'm doing 779. Like I said, it's not accurate. As you can see, it kind of bounces up and down. Um, like I said, it don't matter. It, you just really want to be able to sense it just to disengage the exhaust brake. Um, again, you have your drop down for your uh, fan trigger. Like I said, I probably have to work on it a little bit. I'm not sure if I have a bad actuator, so I'm going to have to get another actuator to swap out with just to test it. Um, see if my actuator's bad, or maybe, like I said, the board actually doesn't get as hot as I thought it did. Um, then you have your starting position, your ending position, and my travel rate. So I'm starting at 50, uh, 10 pounds, I'm going to 50 pounds, and I'm going to end at 35 pounds. And then I have my frequency for pulse modulation. Again, I'm not using that, so there's zero, and the same thing with my AFC controller. I'm not using that yet. So once you're done doing your settings, you're going to click write, it's going to say it's writing. Once it's done writing, go back to operating, click on monitor, and as you can see, I clicked on 50 pounds, so you probably can't really tell, that's 50 pounds right there. My current engine RPM is 781, 82, kind of bounces around a little bit. Alright, and then my VGT load, it's saying I'm running at 49. And then if you look at my turbo RPM, uh, turbo RPM is reading zero, and my water temperature is 112, and my VGT posi position says I'm at 10%, just like I have it in my setting. Now if I give it some gas, you're gonna see my turbo RPM start going up. Now I have the exhaust brake on, so as you saw, the VGT feedback position drop to zero. So once my RPMs get up above 900, it'll kick on for a second. Then once my RPMs get below 900, it turns off. So it's pretty cool. Works really, really well. Um, it's definitely a huge improvement over my uh, my initial configurations. So I can click on span test and you guys will be able to see. So right here it says my commander position is 10, my actual position is 10, my load's 48-ish, and then my VGT temp. So I'm gonna do a span test. So as you saw, it never went above 50 during that whole, that whole span. So that's really what you gotta watch for. And like I said, once I get it where I can have a graph plotted, you'll be able to see that, let's say, 20 or 75 percent of your travel at that point you might have uh, like soot or whatever so you'll be able to see that the exhaust is getting caught somewhere so you'll know you need to clean it um, 